Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new vlog with your boy Nadim. So tonight I ain't gonna be messing around and talking too much because I've got a nighttime POV blast planned for you guys. I've not done one of these in a while. So it's gonna be as exciting for me as it is for you guys to watch. You'll have to excuse me because the car is filthy. I've not washed this for about three months. I'll probably wash it in the next vlog. But let's head on out. Yo, so the last time I did a POV, it was in the 8 Series and I had the GoPro mounted to my chest. It was an epic, epic fail because all you could see was the center of the steering wheel. So this time, I'm gonna try and make sure you guys have got a good view of everything that I can see. And right now, you know what? I'm just chilling. I'll probably go grab an ice cream or something and just kick back and relax. So yeah, I've not done one of these in ages and sometimes it's just nice just to head out and take the car for a blast because when you're commuting in the car every day and just driving it at steady, slow speeds, you can't really appreciate the car, so. Oh man, that feels good. So right now I'm in normal because obviously we're just cruising through these normal streets i'm gonna take a little detour put the car into sport and take a little let's take a little shortcut let's go through here let's head through let's head through a tunnel guys over these speed bumps otherwise my sister's gonna kill me if I wreck her suspension so right now I'm in full blown sport mode I'm actually in automatic guys but you know one thing I've noticed as well which is pretty sick and I thought this was a myth you know now that the car's done nearly 20,000 miles I feel like the exhaust note has opened up a lot more. The car seems to be popping and banging an awful lot more than it was when I first got the car for my sister. And to be honest, even though it's got the OPF, it doesn't sound too bad. It still knocks you back into your seat. Let's go up here. Oof, a little bit of spin there. So if you really push this car, you can actually get it to, to kick out a little bit. Obviously not like a real drive, but let's take this turn up here. Jeez. during lockdown I'll be honest with you I'm just playing with the content and also I just cannot wait until the gyms are back open man your boy has gotten so out of shape right kick 
ticket into sport. Man, you know what? This car on Michelin Pilot Sports to sticks. When you've got a four wheel drive, it gives you such a sense of confidence, a sense of security attacking bends. Obviously, you still have to be careful, but it just gives you, <sighs> yeah, it gives you um, an awful lot of confidence. Right, you know what? I'm getting 70 miles per gallon. Obviously, I've got in sport and my foot is fully to the floor. So, uh, for anyone watching, if you want to know how economical a Godfather is, 17 miles per gallon I'm averaging right now. And you don't buy these cars for fuel economy, let's be honest. You buy them to put a smile on your face, it's miles per gallon. So, I'm going to stop talking about fuel economy, put it back into sport. Right, check this out, guys, yeah? Roundabout. Let's look at the grip on this car, right? Full foot. Second. Drop it back into second gear. Let's try and get around this salt grip. Spreader. We need to do some dropper gear disappear once I can see around this bend. once it's legal for me to actually overtake. You know this road, right? So many accidents, so many accidents. I think it's haunted or something, but this road, I don't know what it is, but it catches a lot of people off guard. So I'm gonna have to be real careful right now. Did you hear that pop? See, it looks like there isn't a car approaching from the opposite lane, but because it's almost like an illusion, it's going into a bend, you can't really see, but... Right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Drop it here, drop it here. quick enough for a teenager. Full grip, 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 powering out the corner, up shift, still sticking, full foot. Man, this car is sick. This car is sick. Now I know why on YouTube, whenever I search for Golf R videos, there isn't a stock one because these must be absolutely epic when they're mapped with an exhaust. Jeez. Right, let's put it back into eco mode. While we approach this nice little complex, You know what, I probably should have checked that these guys are even open.
Are you open for McDonald's? What can I get for you? Are you could I get a chocolate flake mug flurry, please? Yeah, anything else? No, thank you. Yeah, please make way for next week, though. Thank you. Thanks. That is the end of the vlog guys and I am so screwed man because I've got 10 miles left in the car and I've come to this petrol station right and it is closed as you can see I don't know how I'm gonna get home probably gonna end up breaking down tonight but don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications follow me on social media links are in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog let's just finish off with how sick that looks take it easy peace out